market is divided into uh, uh, proprietary productive markets with Japan and the United States, these or even the entire Europe or the developed nations, all of them guarantee intellectual property rights. So if you discover a particular <coughs> molecule, a particular drug, uh, they can only they can sell it for a couple of years in a particular market. But in India, that's not necessary. We can just make a copy and sell. Uh, with me on this, so though in terms of volume terms, we are seventh largest, but in value we are 40 in the world. So that that difference is there because of this. So for example, a, a normal uh, ciprofloxacin. You heard about ciprofloxacin? There was an anthrax scare and uh, uh, so gets talked about. It's a research molecule of a buyer or bear or whichever way you pronounce it. Now this American company has ciprofloxacin. One tablet in America will sell for something like four dollars. Four dollars is how much? Two twenty five rupees. Here, ciprofloxacin, the even a topmost uh, company will sell it for about two and a half rupees. So uh, the the cost is that that is the difference. Ten times, twenty times is the uh, is the cost of medicines. So that's the reason that that market is huge. And any product that is under patent gets a 15 year period for exclusive uh, marketing. Anything else you want to know about the power market? So, what is OTC? What is the significance of OTC in pharma? Okay. Uh, OTC is again, that's a. Uh, every pharma drug is. Uh, there, there are. It gets divided into two things. When I told you the, the markets get divided, there's branded generic and. Uh, generic markets or proprietary product markets. Similarly, products, every pharmaceutical product is usually written by a doctor, it's prescribed. You, the patient goes and the doctor will give him a prescription. Now most of this Indian pharma market is all is prescription driven. But the food and drug allows certain drugs to be bought without a prescription. So there are various schedules of drug. So for example, a syrup is basically a medicine. You can go and buy a Coxero. Uh, you must be hearing Rantaxi Volani, the ad with or Revital. There's two ads that very often we hear. Now, they are OTC brands. Revital was a prescription brand. Revital was not the over the counter brand. We, we had medical brands going and promoting a flagship division called Rantaxi Pharma. Build that brand. That brand became a 80 90 crore brand. After it became a 90 crore brand, there are many people who are regularly using it. We realized that our promotional push going and telling doctors really does not impact the brand or does not take it to the next level. So we said, let's make it an OTC brand and start advertising. So we stopped promoting uh, revival to a doctor that you prescribe. We instead launched another brand by name of, uh, it's called Reconia. Yeah. So the Reconia is about 30, 40 crores. So we are promoting Reconia in the chamber of a doctor. And we went back on to direct or without a prescription you can buy. So that's marketed like any other uh, product that uh, OTC product. So the drugs that can be sold over the counter without the need of a physician's prescription is called an OTC. And pharmaceutical, many medicines make their way through OTC. So an anti-acidity drug can be sold there. There are, there are a painkiller can be sold there. Anti-fever, cough syrup or multivitamin. These can be uh, sold over the counter.